Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and today we have something really, really exciting. ANX camera, that is the MIUI camera, has made its way to AOSP ROMs. It is still in the alpha stage, a lot of things are not working. But in today's video, we're going to find out the step-by-step -step guide of how to install it, what works and what doesn't. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kailash, let's get going. All right, so let's see what do we have here. MIUI camera port R, YU, R means Android 11. This is the 185R for Poco X3 Pro released on the 15th of September 2021. And you have ANX camera, Poco X3 Pro add-on and support. Download ANX camera 185R from the official website and flash through Magist. Flash the add-on module through Magist. Now these are the bugs. This is where it is important. Front camera on photo mode doesn't work. Remove from recents if it crashes. One is to one frame in photo mode doesn't work. Video recording on some ROMs using ASP blobs will have glitches. It works fine on CAF and MIUI vendor ROMs. Notes, ports, modules which change device name and model are not supported. Why not newer? 190R has no option for 4K 30fps video recording. You need MIUI core if you flash 190R. 201R has some bugs and cannot work properly yet right so i did try the 202 version over here and uh, yes that is absolutely right that if you try to switch to the front camera it gives you an error so then you have to close it from here and if you open it again if you go to portrait it then gives you an error again now you will need root access you will have a better experience if you are on a CAF or miui vendor based rom so that would be better but this right here that i'm using is conquer os which is OSS vendor. So you will need to have Magisk for installing modules. And as you can see over here, I am removing this from here. And I will show you the step-by-step -step guide of how to go ahead and download it. So for example, let's go to Telegram. You have to go to the official website first. That is camera.aeonax.com. Go to downloads, right? Now, under downloads, you will have the full version and you're looking for 185R. Now, make sure you select this full version modded for R, right? So 185R, select this. Make sure you're on a Wi-Fi network because these are relatively big files. So select this, see 300 megabytes. It will start downloading that. Let it download and what you have to then do is you have to go to Telegram. So then you have to look for the Poco X3 Pro add-on. This is the file, just 900 KB. Let's save it to downloads, right? Now let's wait for this module to completely download because then what we will be doing is we will be flashing both of these through Majesk and then we will reboot and see what is working and what is not working. Let's wait for the download to complete. All right. Now, as you can see, 185R has been downloaded. So go to Magisk once again, select install from storage. You see this, select this, it'll start installing. Okay, now go back, select install from storage again. And let's go to downloads because that is where I have saved the add-on, right? There you have it. Now let's click on reboot. Now remember, as I said, this is in the early stages. You will still have slightly better experience when you use Gcam instead of this. But nonetheless, MIUI camera coming to AOSP ROMs is a huge deal because then that is one of the major caveats that keeps me away from AOSP ROMs if I'm traveling or something because the stock camera at least clicks decent pictures. Let's wait for the phone to reboot and then we will see what all is working and what all is not working. All right, so we have booted back. Now, pay attention over here. You do see that ANX camera is listed over here. So press and hold on this. Go to info. Check the permissions. Make sure no permissions are denied. After that, open ANX camera.
there you go it will give you force close once or twice the moment you try to switch to the front camera it will give you an error so close it okay now if you go to portrait mode see here let's see there you go the portrait mode is working so you also have the wide angle lens working the 2x lens working if you look at video you do have 4k at 30 fps so let's record a video over here okay There you have it. So the video recording is working as well. So let's go back to ANX camera. You do have the pro mode over here, right? The only thing that is not working so far for me is the front camera. I have wide angle working. I have telephoto working. That is good. Portrait mode is working as well. And under more, you have this 48 megapixel mode. So click on that. The reason I'm clicking on that is because I want to check. Right. So it does say it is a 5 MB image versus in normal mode. If you have 48 megapixel, you have, you know, larger images. So this will be trial and error. But what I can tell you is most of the things are working absolutely fine. So you have the AI mode. You have the filters. You have video recording working, voice shutter, you can show guidelines, AI watermark, macro. Let's see if the macro camera works. I'm really going to go close to some subject over here. Yep. Yeah, I think the macro camera is doing a decent job as well. So, you know, this is a step-by-step -step guide of how to install ANX camera on the POCO X3 Pro on any custom ROM based on AOSP and stuff. And to my liking, it is working really great. The only thing is you cannot take selfies. The moment they fix that, it will be something that you can go to. Now, let's see over here. The portrait mode front camera is working. Oh, wow. So I think that is taken care of as well. As you can see, the portrait mode in the front camera is working, but I moved my hand, so it's a little blurred. But all in all, what I can say is the ANX camera experience on any custom ROM is going to be super amazing. It'll work great and you will like it. That'll make using custom ROMs for you even more better and you can explore things. Now, always remember, Things will vary between different custom ROMs, different vendors, CAF ROM, MIUI vendor, OSS vendor. But if you want to know what ROM I'm using today, this is Conquer OS on which most of the things are working fine. So that is something really, really great. Go ahead and install it and almost stock camera level quality on AOSP ROMs. What else can you ask for? Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.